Alright guys, today I'm going to be showing you something a little bit different. Uh, this one is going to involve the Four Kings. Now this trick is a little more difficult than a lot of the ones I normally post on here, but I've seen a lot of comments asking me uh, to post one. So to start this one off, you take the Four Kings, one, two, three, and four. And what you want to do is uh, show your spectators. You're going to tell them, alright, so I'm going to take these Four Kings and I'm going to do something kind of interesting. So if I take one King, put that on the bottom, put another King that goes on top, and obviously we have two Kings left in the middle. I can go ahead, snap my fingers, and you guys will see that all the cards actually revert back to the same position. Now, if you go ahead and do that again, let's say your spectators are skeptical, you show them you have two kings on the bottom, two kings face down in the middle, and just like that, you snap your fingers again, and all the cards should revert back to the same position. Now, what happens if you shake the cards, something a little bit different happens. You actually end up having one of the aces pop up. That's going to be face up. And again, if you just shake them, the same thing is going to happen. Hopefully, we have another ace popping up in the middle. This is going to be the ace of clubs this time. Now, if you flip it over, you can show your spectators as well. You only have the four aces to begin with, with one, two, three, and four, just like that. The kings are gone, and we are left with the four aces, just like that. So, this is the video, guys. Hope you guys like it. And if you want to do it, don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. All right, so this is what the setup is going to look like. So uh, what you want to do is take out the four kings and the four aces. The first thing you're going to do is put the uh, just put two random aces, preferably like black and red like this. You put those on top of the deck, and then you put the other two aces on top. So this is what the setup would look like from uh, the top of the deck, just like this. And then you have the other the four kings. So um, you know this, is, this trick I saw a long, long time ago. Um, and uh, basically what I wanted to do is I wanted to make it a little bit easier because like I said before, I'm not necessarily the most advanced magician, but this is something that you guys can do to make this trick work a lot easier. So to start it off, what you could do is go ahead and put the four kings on top of the deck and those are going to go on top of the four aces. You want to catch a break underneath the two face-up aces and just like that you'll have a break right here. You can start off the trick, you can show your spectators you're going to use the four kings here and you don't want to spread too far revealing those face-up cards. You flip these face up over and you tell them, all right, so I want to use these four kings right here. And again, what you want to do is you want to count them as one, two, and when you get to the third king, you leave it a little bit out jog. All right, so I recommend just leaving it a little bit out jog like that, placing the fourth king. And now what you're going to do, once you've counted the cards, you've showed them the four kings, all you have to do is flip the cards over from the break, not the out jog. So you're going to the pinky break, flipping this entire stack over with the aces, or those things are on the bottom. You flip it over, and the reason you have this card out jogged is because what you're going to do is just push down and pull away, and that's going to leave and drop you with two kings on top of the deck. And as you do this, you can flash a king on the bottom, also rotating the deck, because what you have to do is get rid of the other kings at the end of the performance, so that way you leave this deck face up. And all you have to do, guys, is from here you can tell them, all right, so I'm going to use these four kings and show you guys something kind of cool. So as you're doing that, as you're kind of misdirecting them, you're peeling down one, two cards and just casually moving those to the top. You're not really saying anything at all. Um, I've seen another version where uh, you do basically a version of the Elms account, but it's a little bit different, and uh, it's actually kind of difficult. So instead of doing all that, you could just go ahead and move those two cards to the top. So essentially, you've moved these two kings to the top. It's super simple. The spectator's not going to say anything. Uh, it's just as long as you're casual with it, they're not going to say anything. So, what you want to do is say, "All right, I'm going to take one king, put this on the bottom, take another king, and leave this face up." And you want to spread the cards, making sure not to flash any cards below, because when you're only pulling down one card, so the cards look like this at first. So you flip the kings over, and what you want to do is peel down just one card, making sure not to flash any of these cards. Uh, below it. So it's going to go here. You square this up. And then we, what you want to do is make sure you have two different gestures that you want to show the spectator. So at first, you could snap the cards, and that's going to cause the uh, kings to, you know, come back to all face down. So I'll leave a link on the screen for the Elms account. You're just doing a simple Elms account, hiding those face up cards. And then again, you're left in the same position with two kings on top. So you can do this as many times as you like. Every single time that you do the Elms account, it's going to come back to the same exact position where you look like this. You go ahead, you flip the cards over, you snap, you do your Elms account, and you're ready to do this a billion times. But I recommend only do this a few times, just so the spectator isn't going to catch on to anything. And then at this point, the trick is pretty much uh, set up. So the, uh, the two kings are going to be on top of the deck still after you did your Elms account, and then you can 
this time do a different gesture so differently than snapping the cards. So, right, so when I just shake the cards and now you do your Elms account, you're going to appear with one ace face up. And you can leave that out jogged as well. And once that card's here, you just flip it out, put that face up, and you can just shake it again. You don't have to do anything. And then you go straight into another Elms account and that's going to leave another face up ace. And at this point, you peel it out, you put that on top. And uh, from here, you want to reveal the uh, the four aces. And then once you've uh, done your second Elms account, revealing the second face up ace, you want to flip over the deck. So you're flipping the deck face up and you want to show your spectators that you actually have four aces. So essentially what it looks like is you want to take out without flashing the kings because those are in the middle. What you want to do is be able to take out the two aces like this. And this is going to be uh, the end result looking like you have four cards. But in reality, let's go ahead and put this back into position. So the kings are going to be in the middle here with two aces surrounding it. So the way you show off these cards is I'll show you guys from the back here. So yeah, I'm pulling out the bottom most card with my index here that's coming out and then you're grabbing the second card down with just your uh, with your middle here so essentially you're pulling out one card and you're pulling out a second card as well you want to make sure not to flash that king in the front because really it's very easy to just go ahead and flash that king so you want to make sure you don't flash it and then at this point once you've pulled out you've gone one two from here what you want to do is just pull off the top card now with your thumb holding on to a brick which is going to be right back here you're pulling this out sandwiching that, putting that underneath your thumb and it looks like you only have four cards here to the spectator so it looks really clean honestly if you're just showing it to their face like that it looks very clean there's no there's no edges here and then from here you can count off this block you see you put that in the fleshy part of your finger you count out as one two three four and that is now moved the kings to the bottom which which allows you to just place the cards on the table like this and then you can count down you say like so I, all I did was have the four aces just like that and then you can do a wrist kill putting those kings to the table so this is the trick guys like I said um, this was pretty difficult for me so I'm sure a lot of you guys will probably you know be able to do this but uh, you know best of luck hope this tutorial helped you um, and it's all we She's a little